Have you ever wondered where we come from? How life first sparked into existence on our planet? It's a profound enigma that has engaged curious minds for centuries. To truly grasp this, we must explore a complex tapestry of biological, chemical, and geological processes that spanned billions of years. It's a journey that takes us back to the very birth of Earth and the intricate dance of molecules that led to life. Join us as we journey back in time to the very formation of our Earth in an attempt to unravel this ancient mystery. Our story begins around four and a half billion years ago with the birth of a planet that would one day be teeming with life. This newborn world, our Earth, was nothing like the verdant oasis we call home today. Instead, it was a fiery sphere of molten rock, roiling and churning in the heat of its recent formation. The early Earth was a place of extremes. It bore the intense heat of radioactive decay and the relentless bombardment of asteroids. The atmosphere was thick with noxious gases, and volcanic eruptions were a common occurrence. Yet, it was from this hostile cradle that the seeds of life would eventually spring. As the eons passed, the Earth began a slow but inexorable transformation. The heat of its fiery infancy gradually dissipated, allowing the surface to cool and harden. This hardened crust provided a solid stage on which the drama of life could eventually unfold. But the story doesn't end there. With the cooling of Earth's crust, water vapor that had been trapped in the atmosphere began to condense. This process, over time, led to the formation of oceans. These vast bodies of water would play a pivotal role in the emergence of life, serving as a crucible in which the first organic molecules could form. Meanwhile, the Earth's atmosphere was also evolving. As volcanoes belched out gases such as nitrogen, water vapor, and carbon dioxide, the composition of the air began to change. This process, known as outgassing, gradually replaced the noxious primordial gases with a more life-friendly mix. This period, the Hadean Eon, set the stage for the origin of life. It was a time of profound change, as the Earth transitioned from a molten wasteland to a water-covered world. And it was in this environment, vastly different from the Earth we know today, that life as we know it began to take root. As the Earth cooled and oceans formed, the stage was set for the drama of life's emergence. The question of how life began has led to a plethora of intriguing theories. One of the most prominent theories is the primordial soup hypothesis. This paints a picture of early Earth with its oceans serving as a vast, swirling cauldron. In this cauldron, organic molecules, the building blocks of life, were synthesized from simpler compounds. What was the source of energy for this process? It could have been sunlight, lightning, or even the Earth's internal heat. But the primordial soup theory isn't the only one that has caught scientists' attention. There's also the deep sea vent hypothesis. This theory suggests that life may have started in the depths of the ocean, at hydrothermal vents. These vents spew out mineral-laden water, offering a veritable feast of chemicals. The conditions at these vents, with their heat and chemical richness, could have been just right for organic molecules to form and cluster into primitive cells. Yet, not all theories are earthbound. There's a more recent and still controversial hypothesis known as panspermia. This idea takes us beyond our planet, positing that life, or at least the components necessary for it, could have hitched a ride on a meteorite or comet and landed on Earth. It's a theory that opens up a whole new realm of possibilities, suggesting that the seeds of life might be scattered across the universe. Each of these theories has its strengths and weaknesses, and none can yet claim to be the definitive answer. But they all offer unique perspectives on the genesis of life, helping us to imagine what the early days on our planet might have been like. They also remind us of the incredible complexity and beauty of life, and the remarkable series of events that had to occur for us to be here today. Each of these theories offers a unique perspective on the genesis of life, painting a picture of our planet's early days. Central to the mystery of life's origin is the story of RNA and DNA, the molecules that encode life's blueprint. In our quest to unravel the origins of life, we must delve into the roles of two complex molecules, ribonucleic acid or RNA and deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. These are not just random accumulations of atoms but intricate structures that hold the secret to life's diversity and complexity. RNA is thought to have played a key part in the early stages of life due to its dual nature. Not only can it store genetic information like DNA, but it also possesses catalytic properties, which means it can speed up chemical reactions. This unique combination of traits makes RNA a prime candidate for the first molecule of life. 
This leads us to the RNA world hypothesis. It suggests that before the DNA-based life forms that we see today, there was a world where RNA reigned supreme. RNA-based life could self-replicate and evolve, setting the stage for the first glimmers of life in the primordial soup. But why did life transition from RNA to DNA? Well, although RNA was a good starting point, DNA had its advantages. Its double helix structure is more stable than RNA's single strand, making DNA less prone to errors during replication. This stability allows for the efficient storage and transmission of genetic information, a crucial factor for the survival and evolution of complex organisms. Now, imagine the scene. Over billions of years, these RNA structures gradually transformed into DNA, marking a pivotal moment in the history of life. This transition allowed life to become more complex, eventually leading to the diverse array of species we see on our planet today. In essence, the dance between RNA and DNA, this intricate interplay of molecules, was central to the birth and evolution of life. And as we continue to probe the depths of this mystery, we gain not only insights into our past, but also clues about life's potential existence elsewhere in the universe. The transition from RNA to DNA was a critical step in the evolution of life, paving the way for the complexity and diversity we see today. The leap from non-living molecules to living organisms is perhaps the most awe-inspiring part of life's story. Imagine a world of chemical compounds brimming with potential but not yet alive. This was the primordial Earth, a stage set for the greatest show of all, the emergence of life. Our first actors in this grand performance were probably simple, single-celled organisms. These early cells, known as heterotrophs, did not produce their own food, but relied on organic compounds around them for sustenance. But as the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. As these resources dwindled, a new kind of cell emerged. These were the autotrophs, pioneers of a self-sufficient lifestyle. They could produce their own food, likely through a process similar to photosynthesis. This was a game changer. With the advent of photosynthesis, life had found a way to harness the energy of the sun. The oxygen produced as a byproduct of this process began to accumulate in the atmosphere. This oxygen-rich environment was a catalyst for change, paving the way for the evolution of more complex life forms. But evolution doesn't happen overnight. It's a slow process, often taking millions of years. The transition from simple, single-celled organisms to more complex life forms was not a simple leap, but a gradual climb, marked by countless small steps and occasional giant leaps. One such leap was the Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid diversification that occurred around 541 million years ago. During this period, most of the major groups of animals first appeared in the fossil record. This explosion of life was likely triggered by a combination of changes in the environment, the evolution of new genes, and the development of new ecological interactions. The journey from simple molecules to complex life is a testament to the power of evolution, the tenacity of life, and the wonder of our planet. This evolutionary leap set the stage for the Cambrian explosion, a period of rapid diversification that gave rise to the myriad forms of life we see today. Life as we know it is incredibly resilient, capable of thriving in the most inhospitable environments. This resilience is best exemplified by extremophiles, organisms that flourish in conditions that would be lethal for most life forms. From the scorching heat of deep-sea hydrothermal vents to the icy cold of Antarctica, these remarkable organisms defy the odds. The study of extremophiles has revolutionized our understanding of life's potential origins. By unraveling how these organisms survive and reproduce in extreme environments, we gain insight into the possible conditions and biochemical processes that could have given rise to life on Earth. Extremophiles also broaden our concept of what constitutes a habitable environment. Their existence suggests that life could have emerged under the harsh conditions of early Earth and perhaps even beyond our planet. They provide a tantalizing hint that life, in its myriad forms might be more common in the universe than we previously thought. The existence of these hardy organisms shows us that life is not only adaptable but also incredibly tenacious. The origin of life on Earth remains one of the most captivating and challenging mysteries in science. From the formation of our primordial planet to the emergence of complex life forms, we've journeyed through a labyrinth of hypotheses. The primordial soup, deep sea vents, and even panspermia. We've delved into the roles of RNA and DNA and marveled at the resilience of extremophiles. 
As we continue to explore and understand our world, we move ever closer to answering this profound question. How did life begin? Thank you for joining us on this journey through the origins of life. We've barely scratched the surface and there's so much more to explore. Do you have a theory about life's origins? Or a question that keeps you awake at night? Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. We love hearing from you. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video.